Can we use the full capacity of our brains? Here's the question. Well, this episode of Earthy Perks is going to reveal the answer. The brain is referred to as the master organ of the human body, the control center, the ruling headquarter. You can do anything, paint a masterpiece in a minute, learn every language in an hour, build a multi-billion dollar company overnight, and rule the world by tomorrow. The brain, to say the least, is very complex. We've studied it for centuries, and we're still learning more of its secrets today. But be careful, the search for facts can sometimes lead to fiction. Brain size relates more to proportion than it does to intelligence. For example, here's your brain next to a whale's. Your brain is smaller than a whale's because your body is smaller. However, your brain is structured in a way that enables you to survive and succeed. We've seen what really smart people can do. They inspire us through art, music, and literature. They change the odds in sports. They come up with tools to make our lives easier. And they help organize society as a whole to make us all more powerful, for better or for worse. With access to your brain's full capacity, you're limitless. So, what do you do? First things first, you finally get to solve the Rubik's Cube that's been collecting dust on your shelf. Call up your smart friend and challenge them to a game of chess. Checkmate in two moves. When you're done being a smarty pants, you'll be looking for a real challenge. Since being smart means that you won't be as stimulated by the things that keep us simpletons happy, when you're limitless, you don't have to choose. Picasso was overrated. Sorry I'm late. I was up all night curing cancer. So I thought, well, why not? And that's how the time-traveling toilet came to be. Okay, back up. What happens to your body when you're dedicating all of your brain's energy to a creation, a cure, a patent, your lungs breathing, your heart beating, your food digesting, and your blood circulating? That's all your brain. Even if you could access 100% of your brain's capacity, you couldn't use it. You would be limited by your body's survival needs. Remember when we asked, the 10% thing is a myth and it probably comes from a simple confusion. Your brain is 10% neurons and 90% glial cells. There are different types of neurons that take care of different functions, but in general, your neurons enable you to process and transmit information, while your glial cells surround your neurons, providing them with support and insulation. Maintain healthy habits. That's the smart thing to do. Bring a whole new phenomenon to fuel your curiosity. Stay tuned for the latest episode of Earthy Perks.